That's me, James, and my husband, Daniel. Today, we are heading from El Nido over the water to Coral. Stick around. We just woke up. Well, I've been up for an hour and a half or so. Dan's not feeling 100% in bed over here, which sucks. It is really raining outside. Luckily, we can go downstairs and have coffee, except from the AC isn't even on, so the electric's all out because it's raining. You don't feel good? It's actually really cool. I love tropical rains and storms and all that stuff. It's like one of my favorite things because it does, it just goes crazy. And we haven't seen rain for so long because we live in Vegas. So when it does rain a little bit, it's not the most exciting rain. We just got back from breakfast and watched all the boats leave and we are going to head over to a little coffee shop because we have some stuff to sort out and the internet was down yesterday so we need to sort all of that out. We have a video that's going out tomorrow so we need to make sure that that's all done and ready to go and scheduled and everything like that. Well guys, I definitely got stung by a jellyfish because it's still burning a little bit and yeah. I'll show you. Dan didn't pee on it, because apparently that's meant to stop you from being in pain from a jellyfish. And he, yeah, he didn't offer that. But it's not too bad, it's not too unbearable. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world yet. So hopefully it doesn't get any worse. It doesn't even look that bad, but you know. So we've come back to taste. This place is all vegan and like vegan food. I don't know, I just really enjoy it. I think maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna have banana, banoffee waffles because I feel like treating myself. You had loca. Yeah, you. I think we're gonna get some food too. Mm. Yum, so good. We just got our food. Mm. Mm. I just got done with my massage and now Dan's about to go for his and he's packed up his bag and he's ready to go. You ready? Ready. It leaves at 12.30 and it says be here an hour before so I'm trying to get Dan to hurry up and get out the door so that we're not late. Bye. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Oh, now he's gonna go pee real quick. <laughs> Bye. So today, yeah, we're heading over to Koran Island. Super excited to go over there and check that out. We're actually there for a few nights and we have a private island in between that, so that's gonna be great. But we've also booked a private tour there. The tour guide seems super nice and friendly and he's super helpful. So it should be a great experience, but. I'm gonna miss waking up to this view because our next one isn't beachfront like this one so that is one bonus but it is a little loud at night so I'm not gonna miss that that's for sure okay I'm waiting for Dan it's 11 30 and I am ready to get on this ferry I do not want to miss the ferry it like freaks me out that we're gonna have to spend another night here so I'm hoping he hurries up and gets back so we can go have checked in and got our tickets they you have to pay an extra 20 pesos to be able to get your ticket like actual ticket even though you pay online so I don't know why they don't just include that but whatever um, Dan's just ran to get coffees real quick because we still got 10 minutes and we're in an outside waiting area uh, we kept trying to get through but then the security guy is like no wait over here wait over here so once he lets everyone through we're going to get our seats they are pre-assigned I believe and we have AC it's a three and a half hour ride so it's going to be a nice breezy ride all the way over to Koran. I'm excited to go and explore a different island and check that out um, with a nice coffee. They have a small little cafe area that they said on board so we can get some water and stuff if we need it, which we do, and I'm hungry so I'm going to get a snack of some sort. Um, yeah, let's uh, get heading over to Koran and enjoy a different island.
please proceed to the left side, the yellow one. Alrighty guys, we just jumped off the boat at Caron and as soon as you get off you have to pay a 200 peso environment fee per, per person. So make sure you remember that you have to pay for this. Welcome to Caron town. Is that right? Oh my god it is. It's a giant truck. Oh, it's right. All the rain. We checked in to our hotel. It's big and spacious, so it's not too bad. We do not have a water view. It has Wi-Fi, which apparently stretches to the room, which is great because we just ran out of data. And it has AC, which of course is also great and necessary in this weather. All in all, getting from El Nido to Coron is not too difficult, it's just expensive and they like to charge you extra stuff. Didn't realize we have to pay an environmental fee when we arrive to Coron because I know we have to pay an environmental fee to any other islands that we visit, so I guess that's just part of the parcel, so don't forget that you have to do that if you get the ferry over. I wonder if you have to pay if you come by plane? Good question. So far, Koran is proving to be a bit chaotic. There's a lot of people. We've got fresh fish. We have come to El Cuvo. It's like one of the top rated places, so I'm super excited to just eat and get my bearings of this town and try and figure it out a little bit. It's a little harder to navigate than El Nido for some reason. Like, it just feels a lot more chaotic because there's trikes and stuff everywhere and they're all moving and flowing. It like makes it feel a lot more chaotic. Whereas in El Nido, everything was just a walking street, so it was a lot easier to get around. So I'm trying to understand how this spot works. So yesterday my dad went in and he had open heart surgery and he had to have an artery replaced because of it was like 70% clogged so he also had like a loose valve so instead of when your heart like beats it goes like this and like closes but here's like the second yeah leaky valve the second hinge on like the door wasn't working so it was kind of just like flipping a little bit so that way he wasn't like pumping his heart, uh, he wasn't pumping his blood properly. So he went in for surgery yesterday and they said it was successful and everything, but then I just got an update that um, through the night he had an arterial bleed and 
they fixed it, so the bleeding has stopped, but they're having problems waking him up from the sedation and his blood level isn't stabilizing, so his blood pressure. So I don't know what that means, but my stepmom's on the way to the hospital to go and see him now and see how it's all going. Um, they did say he's also having trouble breathing uh, without like the help. So we're just gonna see how this goes. Uh, it's super interesting because the emotions that I feel, um, I guess I haven't been through something like this with someone so close to me before. So it's trying to navigate those emotions and feel those is super interesting. I have like a huge weight in my chest and trying to understand that emotion. What I've discovered and what I've learned over the past few years is when you feel an emotion, instead of like subduing it or just going through it and like being super upset or like feeling like a negative way or a positive way or anything like that, when you actually feel a strong emotion, just try and feel it and acknowledge it. Um, and really think about what that emotion is and what that means to you because we get so many emotions throughout the day, micro emotions and everything like that, but when you get something that's so big and heavy or, you know, like this, it's very interesting to feel and take it on and if you feel like you're going to cry, if you feel like you're going to scream and do all those things, like just think about that and, you know, it's super important to do because we are like our emotional beings I guess and it's just really interesting to really feel your emotions because normally you don't. So yeah, uh, when you go through those emotions and you feel those emotions, like really feel them and think about what they are and what they're doing and stuff because they're pretty crazy when you really think about it. Let me know if you guys go through that process with your emotions and if you feel those too. It'd be interesting to know. All right, I just got my food and it looks so yummy. Um, I'm gonna give it a taste. I got like a vegetable curry because I just feel like vegetables right now. I don't know why, it's crazy. Mmm, it's actually so good. It's got um, like a bit of coconut with it. It's not like super spicy or anything. Um, it's like sweet-ish. Got the coconut, definitely got the coconut with it. And it's super good. Dan got tuna. And um, it actually looks really good too, the tuna. There's, there's a lot there as well, I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be a smaller portion. So it's super good. So far, this place is great. Alrighty guys, we just got done with dinner and now we found this awesome little park with everyone playing tennis and basketball and all this crazy stuff. Dan wants to walk up to the main busy street, which is two more streets up right. And uh, we're gonna head on up there and then go left and then we're gonna find our way back to the hotel and chill out. My stepmom just got to the hospital and they're in ICU and they're trying to wake him up. So we're gonna see how that goes and what happens with that. Hopefully they get to wake him up and he'll be all good. It's such a weird mural. Look at that mural. Light and dark. If you do drugs and pills, you'll die. But if you play tennis and look at butterflies, you will live. Did you guys know that? Reggae took to We've walked the main street pretty much the whole way from one end to the other. And all I can say so far is this feels like a mini Manila. Like going from El Nido and it's like chill vibes and it's like being calm and relaxed and stuff to coming here and it being like absolute chaos. It's like a lot. Like I don't know. I kind of wish we stayed in El Nido for a few more days and then came here just for a couple of days. So that's uh, one thing to point out. This is definitely a lot more busy, a lot more chaotic and stuff. So I don't know if that's your vibe, then it's your vibe. But of course it's day one. We'll see how we get on and what we get up to here and take you guys along for the road. Hopefully it'll be all right. Maybe I'm just like a little bit shook from what's going on with my dad as well. And I just need to like relax, who knows. Um, but yeah, not really sure 
what to do at the moment.